I um, wanted to do a vlog or have decided to do a vlog and answer your comments on my previous vlog um, personally rather than, well I know it's personal when I comment underneath but I just thought some of your responses are, uh, um, are very sad and heart-wrenching and I just thought that I wanted to thank you and um, talk individually thank you um, for those of you that have also um, suffered from suicide so I'm going to be looking at my screen that's over there and looking back here and and trying to work my way around this contraption that's in front of me um, and I've decided I was talking to Mark at lunchtime and I have decided that um, I have for um, Kathy eyes wide open said would I um, share the GoFundMe and I don't feel um, I don't feel comfortable doing that, and I'm not sure why because I have shared it on Facebook, um, and I know that it's important for them to raise money, um, but I don't feel comfortable sharing it actually on my vlog. But what I have said is that if you want to see the link to the GoFundMe, um, if you send me an email to my Yahoo account, I'll. Um, I'll email it to you. I think that I'm more comfortable with that than um, putting it on the vlog. Um, and I've decided that when I next get paid by AdSense, I don't get paid every month because I'm not earning enough. But when I next get paid, you have to earn over 75 euros um, to be paid. Um, when I next get paid, that money will go to, to Shelley's GoFundMe. Um, we've already donated money, but I just think, you know, those kids are going to just need money and I'd like to do that. I was going to do it as the revenue from that particular vlog, but that won't make loads of money. So I'll do my whole 75 euros when I get it and I will send the 75 euros. So I'm not going to take off my cottage station and um, stuff like that. So that's what I've decided. So, yeah. Um, so thank you. First of all, thank all of you for your positive comments. I really did worry about publishing a vlog um, about um, about Shelley's suicide. It's a very difficult subject to vlog about and I really didn't want to feel or sound like I was, sound like I was cashing in on something to, to increase my views. Um, I really didn't want to that it to feel like that and I and I think I, I realize that many of you appreciate how I'm feeling about it and I am still struggling with should I be feeling like that and um it, it's very difficult isn't it she isn't close to me but she's very close to my grandchildren and um and back in the when the kids were younger um she wasn't in my um I didn't know her I've never ever spoken to her but I knew of her children and knew of the things that were going on with them because everybody was talking about, oh, they've done this or they've moved to Cornwall or, or whatever. So I knew of her back then. Um, so anyway, enough of that. So I'm just going to reply to your comments and thanks very much. So Kitty, um, Kitty, you lost your, um, your mum to suicide in 2012. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I, it's, I can't, I really can't put myself in your shoes. And I know that, that people that have, um, have, you know, the survivors of uh, a suicide, um, suicide parent, sibling, um, close friend, uh, spend the rest of their lives feeling guilty or having not, I'm hopeful that it's not, you're not feeling guilty all the time, but I know there will be moments of guilt. There's this whole thing about, if only, if only I'd done that, what if I'd done this? Um, all of those things, it must be really horrible. So I'm very sorry, very sorry for your loss. Um, Alexa, Alexa Rosa lost a friend to suicide six years ago um, and says it's just devastating for everyone. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, Hilden Silk, Hidden Silk, um, my nephew committed suicide age 17 and my next door neighbour's son age 21 committed suicide here in France again by hanging less than a year ago. 
Sometimes there are no answers. Yeah, there are no answers. There aren't. And it's, that's, I think that's the problem. It's like none of us can solve it. None of us, you know, none of us are able to solve it. I can remember back when I was working, there was a woman who um, was um, determined, absolutely determined to take her own life. And we were um, specialing her in hospital, which meant there was somebody sitting with her all the time. And every moment she was determined, she didn't ever give up. I mean, eventually she must have done, I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, she didn't give up on the determination to do, to do that. Um, horrible. Um, thank you, Margaret Callahan. Thank you, David Ellis. Thank you, Pauline Dixon. Thank you, Vanessa Pierce. Um, Carol Hyde, thank you. Janice Pym um, talks about when you've reached the point of suicide, you've lost all sense of reason. And I remember somebody saying that to me. I think a couple of people have said that to me. And I think that's probably the bit that I miss when I am shocked. And how, how do you get to that? How do you get to that? And it is, it's like you have, I think Jane said to me the other day, Jane is a fellow psychotherapist and she was a doctor and she said something about there's a, a splitting off of that bad, the bad part of you that you think is bad, your child thinks is bad. There's a, a splitting off of that and a, a, some sort of belief that if I if I can get rid of that, everything will be all right. And I, I can't remember exactly how she described it, so I might be wrong, but that's what she talked about. Um, thank you. I don't know why these usernames come up like that. The user PW6EL, la 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 la. I did manage to change it back to proper usernames and it's gone again. I'll have to ask Phil. Uh, Marie B, thank you very much. Um, and user, the same user says, um, I hope children have support now and in the future. So do I, and I'm doubtful they're going to get the support they need. Um, mental health resources in the UK are. Um, poor and um, I know child services got cut back um, several years ago it got cut back and it hasn't improved so I hope that they get the support I hope they know where to get the support from I can't intervene I can't do my bit this, the bit that I would do is you know find the resources and I can't do that I'm not they don't know me they don't know me they will do vaguely they'll know of me but they don't know me so i can't help i will talk to my boys um tom and charlie when they come back and and, and see what's happening um adeline finlay thank you those four kids i do i hope they have support um <laughs> this is out of context um please try the kiwi fruits so oh, we do we do eat some of the kiwi fruits but it's a lot there's a lot there and they all ripen at once you can't hold them back. Um, so they all ripen at once and that's too much. Um, Lizzie London, thank you. Um, Janice Pym, I managed, mentioned Janice before because she's commented twice because she says that her nephew committed suicide some months ago, age 29, jumped off Beachy Head, which is a, um, a large high cliff out into the English Channel, um, unable to, turn to, come, to come to terms with that absolutely understand that why how are you going to do that how i think that the only thing that i can say um and i i'm not sure is that um i don't think you come to terms with it i think what happens is that you adapt to the new picture i know that's what what other people have has happened that i've known of is that you adapt but it doesn't it doesn't ever go to where away and again you're left with the guilt about you know if only if I'd have done this, what what did we get wrong? I think that for the for the parents of a child, the parents more than anybody will be thinking, what what did I get wrong? What what could I have done? And I think that's so distressing. Um Arnie's Pernice um says that when someone is a at the desperate state of wanting to take their life, they cannot feel, let alone consider what they leave left behind. More often, as you said, they believe they can never recover and are a burden. Um, and he talks about poor support 
in the UK. I think he means mental health support. And I think it's a him. Sorry if you're not a him. Your name is not really very clear. Um, yeah, there's the, the, the mental health resources in the UK are, are severely depleted. And I know that when we worked in mental health, um, it was beginning to head that way. Uh, yeah, it was beginning to head that way. And there's a whole, it became a whole um, emphasis on CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy, which doesn't get to, doesn't get to the, the crux of the matter with somebody in these situations. Kathy eyes open, thank you. Um, and I've talked about the GoFundMe and I will, yeah, if anybody wants the um, link to the GoFundMe, um, I will send it to you if you Yahoo me. I'm just going to have a look now at it to see how it's doing. Oh, excuse me. It's really sad every time I open this, seeing her face. Um, okay, their target was two and a half grand and they've got 2,065, so that's quite good. Um, they're going to need more than that. Um, yeah, they're going to need more than that going on. And I, and I, I don't know what their living conditions are. Um, I do hope that they can continue to live in the house that they live in. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to talk to my son later. He'll have more information for me and um, I'll talk to the boys as well when they're ready to talk, just really to get more background. And I know that uh, that sounds like, well, why do you need to know? But I do. I, I need to know. Um, I want to know. So anyway, that's it. That's That was, and I don't know what I'm going to call this. There was an issue yesterday. Uh, the other vlog had suicide in the title and for a while... It was showing that it wouldn't monetize and I thought well that doesn't matter um, so I might leave that out of the title because obviously the more money I earn this month the more money I can send to, to Shelley's GoFundMe so I'll leave suicide out of the title and see what happens so yeah I really really appreciate um, how supportive you were and um, I hope I've not really triggered anybody. I hope I've been careful. I think I've been careful. Um, and there we go. So that's that. I won't do anything else. I won't talk about anything else in this vlog. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Hope you're having a peaceful, calm, unstressed, not anxious day. <laughs>